So now we're gonna work on once you go to the Kimura from here, the guy's hands are connected, right? And he's holding it very tight, all right? Um, turn from your side a little bit. Pull your hands tight to your chest. When the guy's hands are away from his body, can you keep your hands away a little bit? When his hands are open, it's fairly easy to, to like jam your knee in there and use that to break his grip. What sucks is when a guy is very strong and he glues his hands tight to his body like this. So it can be very hard. Even You might not even want to go for an arm bar from here because you feel like you're going to lose position. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack his neck. So he's, he's fully committed to protecting his, his arms, but he's leaving his head open. So um, everybody come over on this side so you can see. So I'm going to lean my weight forward. Right, I'm going to use my chest to control his arm. Right now my arms are controlling it. I'm going to use my chest to control his arm so I can take my hand out. Right. This leg is going to move back, and you can even use your leg to sort of bring his head to you a little bit. I'm going to shoot my hand around his neck, all right, and I'm going to drop my lat onto his face. So I need to make sure his head is pointing, his face is turning away from me. So I shoot my leg back, and I slide my weight to the floor. All right? So first I want to isolate his head, and then I'm going to worry about tightening up the choke. So I get his head to turn away, and then I start to slowly work myself back. I take my hand out, I start pushing his tricep and shoulder across, and elbow. All right? And the lower you get to the floor, the better. So now I want to connect my hands. You can either use a guillotine grip or you can go palm to palm here. Right? And the key to this is not to squeeze with your biceps. What I want to do is bring my head down to the mat. I'm going to drop my shoulder into his, into his neck and flex my lat and shoulder blade. All right, so you feel like there's a, I don't know what this muscle is called, but you should be able to feel it. When you sort of pull your, your shoulder blade down, you'll feel that muscle flex, and that's what you want to use to choke him. It's not... It's not your bicep squeezing his neck. You're just sinking your weight in and sort of flexing your muscles around his neck. So we have the Kimura here. You're gonna control it. You need to let go of his wrist. So I use my body and my weight to control him. This arm scoops around his neck. And as my arm goes around, my, that same side leg starts to slide back. And I wanna drop all my weight onto his face to turn his head away from me. All right. So now I have his head isolated. I'm gonna slowly work myself down. I'm going to take my hand out and start to push the elbow across. Try to think about getting your ear to his shoulder. Right. Connect your hands. Right. And then what you want to do is spread your feet out wide. I don't want to turn my body like this because he might be able to roll me over. Spread your legs out wide. Get your hips as low as you can on the floor. Bring your head down. As my head comes down, my shoulder comes down. And then just slowly flex. Squeeze the muscle. You should be squeezing at a level that you could, you should be able to keep that squeeze going for like a minute or two. It's not like an all out squeeze. Brian, can I use you? Can I squeeze you? Yeah, please. So you have the Kimura, the guy's got his hands locked. You can even be like this, and I'm gonna, see, so I use my wrist and my chest to control his arm. I bring my leg back, scoop his head. I'm just gonna shoot the arm around the neck. And when you do this for real, um, you can sort of like drop your weight onto his face because you really need him to look away. If he can turn his head towards you, he's, he can sort of uh, avoid the choke. So you need to make him look away. I shoot my arm over the neck, my leg goes back, and just trap his head. All right? Now I need to worry about getting my head off the center of his body. So bring my head to the side here. And you also want to think about like basically pulling the guy's head away from his body. Right? So I slide myself back. Connect my hands. I'm slowly going to bring my head towards the mat. My shoulder comes down. And just slowly flex. All right. One, two, three.